Hello and welcome to Shohini's Kitchen. So today's recipe is a summer special one using the most delicious fruits ever, the mangoes. We are going to make the mango panna cotta today. Panna cotta is an Italian dessert which is popular all over Italy. It is chilled in molds and then served and you can prepare them in advance. To make a mango panna cotta, what do we need? We need 4 to 5 mangoes chopped into pieces and pureed. Over 1/3 cup of sugar and 1/2 tablespoon gelatin. Now we will chop the mangoes into small pieces. You don't need to cut uniform pieces since these will be pureed. So as you can see the mangoes have been chopped and now they are ready to go into a blender. So fill the blender with these chopped mangoes and then make a smooth puree out of them. We need half tablespoon of gelatin for every 2 cups of chopped mangoes pureed. Now add the gelatin to the bowl and then add water to it. I have added around 1/4 cup of water. Now you need to add cold or room temperature water to gelatin first and let it bloom. and then to dissolve it completely in the liquid you need to warm it a little bit so now we will be adding around 2 tablespoons of mango puree to the gelatin and water and mix them well let it rest for around 10 to 15 minutes turn on the gas and place a thick bottomed pan on it Fill the pan with the mango puree. Now we will add the gelatin mixture to the puree. Now keep stirring the mixture so that the gelatin is combined with the puree completely. Keep in mind that you cannot boil this mixture. It just has to be heated. Now time to add the sugar. Keep stirring so that we get a smooth mixture. So now I have taken these small glasses and placed them in a tilted fashion inside the spread mold. And now it's time to fill the glasses with the puree. So this is the mango portion of the panna cotta. Now we will refrigerate this for 2 to 4 hours. refrigerate for 2 to 4 hours and now let's move on to the next step we need 1 cup milk over 1/2 cup sugar little bit of salt 1 teaspoon vanilla 1/2 cup sour cream 2 cups of heavy whipping cream and a pouch of gelatin So one pouch of gelatin contains almost 1 tablespoon of gelatin. We will again take a thick bottomed pan and add 1 cup of milk to the pan. Now we will add the gelatin. The milk is 
at to room temperature. So now we are mixing the milk and the gelatin together. Now again we will turn on the heat and let the mixture heat for some time. And we will make sure that it doesn't come to a boil. So now we are adding the sugar to the milk and gelatin mixture. Pinch of salt. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. Half teaspoon of vanilla. Now mix all of them together and now I have taken sour cream in this measuring jar and half a cup of sour cream. Just mix it well, blend it little bit with the beater and now add the mixture. Now we have let the mixture cool down little bit and then we are adding it to the sour cream. So mix all of the ingredients together. Mix, mix, mix and in no time the panna cotta mixture will be ready. So this is after 2-4 to four hours. So you can see the mango portion is set. Now after cooling down the mixture, we will pour it over the mango portion. Now I have two more glasses in which I have stored the mango part in a different way. So now again refrigerate for 2-4 to four hours. After refrigeration for 2-4 to four hours, you'll see that the panna cotta is perfectly set. Mango panna cotta is ready. So you can make it ahead of time and serve it as a delicious dessert on any summer evening or on any day of the year if mangoes are available. So let's take a look at how the panna cotta looks. The panna cotta is perfectly set and it tastes yum. Now take a look at this mango part. It has blended so well with the panna cotta and it is looking beautiful. It also tastes awesome. Like, share and comment if you like this recipe. Please subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Shohini's Kitchen is there on both Facebook and Instagram. The link is shared in the description. Thank you for visiting my channel and keep visiting for more recipes.